All right guys, when it comes to shooting film and working with these old cameras, I'm blind. It's really hard for me to mount a focus, which is why I have the Mamiya 645 AFD because the autofocus on there is actually pretty clutch. Um, but anyways, I got this new Canon F1 and it's all manual focus. So everything's a little bit smaller, a little bit more difficult to see. And so on my last shoot, I'm having to shoot at 2.8 and F2 because we're using continuous lighting in studio, shooting with portrait 800. And uh, I missed focus on some of the shots. So that's my fault, but I'm going to show you guys how using AI tech technology could kind of save your ass when you're not good enough to uh, nail that focus. <sighs> you guys can see this is out of focus. The clothes are kind of in focus, but her face is not at all. But let me show you what I did. Whoa, now she's in focus, out of focus in focus. So let me just show you how I did this. It's pretty freaking easy. Let's do edit open with Topaz. You see, I have three different Topaz uh, programs in here. Uh, we're going to use a Sharpen AI. I'm just going to open up as a TIFF. So as we can see, this is a 35 millimeter image. Uh, it is portrait 800. And so it's going to be a little bit noisy, but just opening it up. This isn't doing any auto selection right now. I have all the auto selections off. So this is just clicking the out of focus normal and the current settings. You see, kind of sharpens it up, but it kind of doesn't. But let's just turn on the sharpen the auto mode. The auto mode really just makes her eyes pop back off. We are getting a lot more noise everywhere else though, but I'll show you how we can get to that here in a second. Now let's also turn on the auto mode for the parameters. This is insane. So this is out of focus. Like this isn't just like a soft image or motion blur. This is a 35 millimeter scan. Not I mean like a big scan either. It's like a medium quality scan. And then this AI is just making it look like I nailed focus. This is insane. Let me show you what other, the other sharpening modes would do. So you see the motion blur normal. It's just kind of sharpening everything overall, but it's not really targeting her face. We can do very noisy. You see with the very noisy, it does make her look in focus again, but it blurs a lot of that film grain, which I don't want because all the other grain around her is really sticking out. So if you do the very blurry, again, it sharpens everything overall, but it doesn't kill as much film grain on her face. You see like on the cheek, a little bit's dying right there. So you would think let's do, let's turn off suppressed noise. And that doesn't really bring that noise back in there. Uh, it kind of helped a little bit, but it's definitely a little bit harsh. Also guys, there will be a link in the description it is an affiliate link. So if you end up wanting to get the software, use my link and I might get like five or 10 cents out of it. So let's go to the next step and that's select. He already opened it up. It already masked her out from the image. You can see it's not doing like a perfect selection. It's kind of feathering off and it's making the edges very grainy into the backdrop. So let's go to refine and you can see now the feather is really just getting it's not really selecting her that great. So I'm gonna go back to the selection. I'm just gonna do custom. I'm going to clear the whole selection. I'm going to do add all that feathering on the edges there because I don't want the grain on the background to pop off anymore. I don't want any grain to really be like included on here. I just want to uh, fix my mistake. And you see now it's just focused on the face. Um, and, but you do see again that the grain is really just getting pumped up along with it. So obviously again, we're at hundred percent and you see it's really turned the ground on her face, but I mean, I don't really mind that it's film. I'm going to pump up the remove blur just a little bit more. Let's go up to 40. All right. So that's before that's after that's insane. It totally cleans her up. So another thing we could do in Photoshop, we could go and open this up with the original file and blur out the noise on her. I mean, maybe we can even do that in here. Let's go to refine. I'm going to lower my opacity. So the fall off is a little bit more natural. So that's the original and then I'm going to swipe it. And now she's uh, in focus again. The grain is a thing, but I don't mind at all. Cause again, most people are going to be viewing it like this. It's not really a problem like that. And I'm doing this before I retouch the photo from there. You just do save image and then it's just going to save right back into capture one. And there we go. So you see this is the original where she is just totally not in focus at all. And all of a sudden she looks like she's in focus. So again, I would go in and retouch these, but just like zoomed out. Look at that guys. Like this totally just saved my ass. So. That's all I'm talking about in this video. Again, it's user error. It's hard when you're doing like full body portraits on a 100 millimeter lens at 2.8, looking through just a old viewfinder because you think you're in focus, but in reality, you're not focused. So this does have a prism focusing screen. I think that's what it's called, where it's like a bunch of those little tiny dots and they smooth out when something's in focus, which 
isn't the greatest sometimes for when you're trying to lock onto the eye. So I might need to find a split, a split diopter prism focusing screen. I was looking for one. I can't find one that wasn't like freaking $800. So also guys, there will be a link in the description it is an affiliate link. So if you end up wanting to get the software, use my link and I might get like five or 10 cents out of it. You'll be able to buy me uh, more tea. London Fog, guys. Y'all, if y'all never had a London Fog, go to your, your local cafe, ask for London Fog. Holy shit, it's amazing. Anyways, guys, that's it. I will stop uh, rambling on now, and yeah, peace.